Yo guys and welcome to the England versus Wales match preview. I've never really done one of these before, but I I just seen people do it and they bring on other YouTubers. Um, so I thought I'll get Curtis's name in the title. I mean, um, his wonderful footballing knowledge about Wales. <laughs> anyway, before we get into that, um, we're gonna go with what's happened with Wales, um, their recent results. They only scraped a 1-0 win against Bulgaria. They're in League B. <sighs> then beat Finland 1-0. I, I feel like it's going to be a tough game. You know, they've got players like Gareth Bale, uh, David Brooks, Daniel James is a quick player, Wayne Hennessy. It's going to be tough. Moore's in good form with Reading. But... I think we'll come away 2-0 winners. I'm feeling a bit confident. They've got a good attack though. But I don't know, they just not really got the results to really get to score a goal against us, I don't think. If you look at that attack, Gareth Bale, Daniel James, David Brooks, that's a good attack. But um, I think I don't think they'll get past us with the with how they're playing recently. I think it'll be 2-0. But now uh, we're joined by, if you've been subscribed to me for about a year now, you'll probably recognise this guy. Uh, his name's Curtis, aka The True Jack. Uh, go, uh, his link will be down in the description. Go check him out and drop a sub while you're there. And yeah, over to you now, mate. Yo, guys, on Sam's channel, it's The True Jack, Swansea Vlogger, and he's given me, um, and he's asked me to do a quick preview of the game with England and Wales. Obviously, I'm Welsh. Um, like I mentioned, Swansea vlogger, we're without Gareth Bale, Aaron Ramsey and Joe Allen, which is a big shame because it's a really massive game. I'm hoping that we get revenge from England for beating us in Euro 2016. Well, um, Gareth Bale obviously is out for our Nations League games against Republic of Ireland and Bulgaria. Well, Ramsey will be back in time for um, that game. But anyway, England got lost a few players. They got Raheem Sterling out injured, Sancho, Chilwell and Abraham out after breaching Covid rules. So I think it'd be a very interesting game to us. We was a friendly, and England they haven't, they haven't been doing that well recently. But I think I, I think the score will be one one. I reckon Kane will get the goal for England, and I reckon for us I think, oh, I fancy, I fancy Kiefer Moore to get one. Come on, Wales. Uh, and once again, thank you so much for Curtis uh, for coming on. Like I said, his link will be in the description. Real pleasure. Um, but now we're going to get into the team. Uh, in goal, I've gone with Pope. <clears throat> a lot of people are going to disagree with that. And the reason is, as much as I'm a competitive player, I love to win. It's a friendly. I want to say most of these players for Denmark and Belgium, the big games. Um, but I've gone with Pope in goal. Walker at right back, uh, just to get him back from that red card back into the team. I've gone with Mings and Cody at centre-back. Mings and Aston Villa have got off to an incredible start this season. Smashing Liverpool, um, which is incredible, by the way. And I've gone with Connor Cody, who's, done, who's had a good start with Wolves. Uh, left, back, I've, uh, left back, I've gone with Saka. Um, had a good start with Arsenal, really good. Um, and yeah, he'll be, he'll be good. He should get into the team, <clears throat> especially this squad, who isn't quite at the top. This isn't like the first start in 11, that makes sense. Right centre mid, I've gone with Declan Rice. This guy can easily get into the first team with what he's done uh, this season. Really should have gone to a better club, no disrespect, West Ham. But I've decided, because he, he's, done, he's done really well. But I don't know, I just feel like his centre mids probably will get in front of him, which is controversial. Um, so I've gone with him and Mount to start this game, who's you know been really good the last two seasons. Right mid, I've gone with Har Harvey Barnes. He's earned that call up. He's done really well with Leicester. How young he is to get into that squad and done what he's done. He's got to get into the team. Left mid, I've, left mid, I've gone with Marcus Rashford. Means that realistically, I, I don't see him playing against you know uh, Belgium and Denmark, which is controversial. But I just feel like there's better options. You've got players like Sancho, Sterling. I, yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't see him exactly, he's a first team player, but I don't see him in the squad against Belgium or, or Denmark, um, so I've gone with Rashford, left mid, and up front, these two thoroughly deserve uh, their call up this season, Calvert-Lewin, what 
he, he's done incredible. What a start for, uh, they've had for Everton, uh, he's had with Everton. Um, Ancelotti, really, really, he's a world-class manager. But uh, it's, it's like, I don't know, like, would you have said that Everton would have the start they've had? Uh, no, no. And it's a lot of it's thanks to Calvin, thanks to Calvin Lewin up front. Uh, and then left striker have gone with Danny Ings. Scored like 28 goals last season um, with no disrespect, but not a great club in Southampton. And I think he joined in January. What? Like, that is insane. So them two have to start up front. There's my team. I've gone with a 4-4-2. Bit of a more simple lineup than last... A bit more of a simple formation, a simple football lineup than last time. I'm not saying I'm better. Look, look. Southgate's an incredible manager, what he did with us in the World Cup and, and even the Nations League. So, you know, he, he, he might play a different lineup. I'm not saying anything about that. But that's what I would like to see. That's mine. Um, but what about you? Let me know in the comments below. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.